to the video. So in this video we're going to look at how to use Mail Merge in Microsoft Word. We're going to look at how to add several items with just one insert and we're also going to look at how to get the resulting um, merge to separate into individual letters in this case for each person that I'm sending it to. So step one I've got my letter here that I want to send to a group of customers. Now I have that list of customer names in a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. So I'm going to go to the mailing ribbon and on the mailing ribbon you will see there is an option to select recipients. If I go into that you'll see I can use an existing list and if I navigate to where that Excel file is I can select the Excel file. Now because my Excel file only has one, one worksheet in it I've only got one option here. Obviously in yours you would need to make sure you pick the correct worksheet within your spreadsheet that has the names and addresses in. Now that I've done that I want to put their name and their address above the date so I'm just going to move the, the date down and traditionally most people would then go insert first name space insert last name and then press enter. They then continue doing that, adding in the address details that they want. Now rather than doing that, I can go to this address block. Now you will notice that the address block is giving me their name as well as their address details. For the purpose of this video and for the end result that I want, which is to have separate files, I'm going to turn that feature off that it takes away the recipient's name. Now you might be thinking to yourself, how does Word know which fields or which columns had their name in, their address in and things like that? Well if you look at the match fields down here, you'll see that it's worked it out based on what you've called your columns. And if there was anything that you had in here that hadn't been, been matched, if it hadn't made a good enough guess, you can always go in the drop down next to a field that you want to match and pick it from the, the drop down. Now if you're going to do this a lot with this particular list, it is also worth ticking this remember this match for this data set on this computer. Now that I've done that, if I press OK, I get one entry, but that entry will actually be several lines of information. Now the other place that we can use something similar to this is when we do our greeting at the beginning of our letter, rather than me typing dear putting space, again going back and inserting their first name and last name. I can go to this greeting line, I can choose whether I want it to be dear, to or nothing, whether I want it to be their, their name in various variations and then a comma. If I've got any that have missing name details in, I can get it to put dear sir or madam or I can get it to whom it may concern or again I can get it to leave it blank. Now that I've done that, should we have a look at what it looks like with some data in? So to do that, if I press preview, you'll see that address block that I put in is actually those several lines of text there. The greeting line has given me the day and the, the person's name. Now, before I finish the merge, the reason that I selected to put their name in separately is I need to format their name in a certain way to give us that ability to get the separate files. So I'm gonna highlight the person's name. Now when I go back to the home ribbon, you'll notice that it's currently formatted at Times New Roman and at 12. What I wanna do is use this thing called a heading style. I'm gonna use heading one. Now that will dramatically change the way it's, it looks. It's gone to a different font, different size, even a different color. I can go and right click on that heading and I can go and modify that. So I can now get that to match what it originally was. So I'm gonna go for Times New Roman. I'm gonna get it to go for 12. I'm even gonna get it go back to the automatic default color. So now that I've done that, if I go back to the mailing ribbon and I press finish and merge and I pick edit individual documents, once I've okayed it, I will now get a document that is 29 pages long because there is 29 people 
in the list that I have linked it to. But it is one big continuous document. So to get that to split up into several smaller, well into 29 separate documents, what I first of all need to do is select all of it, which I'm going to do by doing control and the letter A. I'm going to go to the view ribbon and I'm going to press outline. Once I've done that, I'm going to go to show document. I'm going to press the create button. And what that will do is it will break this document down by each occurrence of heading one. Now, if I'd selected the address block and formatted that as heading one, it would actually split it by each line within the address. So that's why I've, I've separated out the person's name. Now that I've done that, if I go to file and I go to save as, and I'm just gonna to navigate to where I wanna save these files to. I'm going to change that since we last spoke on to just merge results. So when I press save now, it now creates me. If I go and look at the merge results folder, it creates me a letter for each person. It also creates this merge results file. And all that is, it's just a record of of what it did so that is how to use mail merge how to use the address block and the greeting line and also how to get an end result of separate letters for each letter that you've got there thank you for watching the video guys if you liked it can you give me a thumbs up um, if you want to see more of my videos can you press the subscribe button and if you want to get notified when I drop a new video, can you press the notification bell? Thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the next video.